I had some interesting f feedback uh, today, which is, well, this week, which is that we're, we're currently um, working with a very large US software company, global US um, uh, software company. Um, and um, we're, we're getting to the end of the training. And one of the things that the, the salespeople said, now the, the salespeople on it are all um, over 40, um, they've all got 20, 25 years sales experience. You know, the, um, this uh, software company is basically picking off the top of, the, you know, the, the, the A players within the industry. And it was interesting. One of the things that they said was that, that you know, they're being inundated at the moment with um, uh, requests for, uh, for recruiters, basically offering them jobs. Um, and that one of the things that they said that, that, that they were one of the things that they, they loved was the fact that and one of the reasons that they I keep getting error messages from uh, StreamYard about LinkedIn, which is it's not really helping the situation because I, I know what the, the, there's a problem. Um, and uh, one of the things that they loved was that the fact that the company was investing in them. And for them, one of the things that they said, you know, whip, you know, that they, they make them they're offering more money. They're offering, you know, all kinds of things. But actually, the company is investing in us, and therefore, um, that's really important to us. And what we're seeing is that the company is invest investing in us for our future. We know that the company is going to get, um, you know, if we win business, the company wins. But ultimately, what we're what they're doing is that they could train us on this, and then we could leave. But they're actually seeing this as a way of of investing in the future. Um, I've actually got some 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 data and some slides that actually emphasize this point. Would you be interested in that? I are would you, you love to see that. Yeah, are you to see it's okay to put up some slides. Yeah, can I put up some slides? Yeah. Have a go. Have a go. <laughs> can I just can I just say though, just to underline that point, um, we've had what lots of that? people, lots of people chat to us and say, Well, what happens when we train up all our people and uh, and then they're very visible on social and they get coached and they leave? And our stock answer is always, it seems a little bit conceited, but the fact is people don't leave companies because they get good at social. People lose, leave companies because there are better deals and better opportunities happening at other companies. So yes. look after your staff. Absolutely. Yeah, make them not want to leave. And, and whenever I've worked for organizations, certainly in the corporate world, the number one thing that salespeople wanted was the, to see the company investing in them. Because mm -hmm. if the company is investing in them, what they're doing, they're probably having meetings to fire them. So there's a there's a you know two sides to it. So this is some um, this is some data that's been created by um, Robert Turl, who's a headhunter friend of mine. This is ex this is extracted from LinkedIn. Okay. Um, and um, so what he's done is that there are on LinkedIn there are 30 million people in the UK. This is the UK. I've got the US coming up on the next slide. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, but there's a standard feature in LinkedIn where you can put yourself as open to, to move. So yeah. nobody can see that flag apart from unless people are using the recruiter edition of LinkedIn. So you can actually say to recruiters, I'm looking to leave and, and go somewhere else. And, and in the moment in the UK, there are 2.3 million people that have that flag saying, hi, come and talk to me. Um on LinkedIn, there are 720,000 vacancies. So what we can see is that there's a ratio of th um, three, three candidates to one job. If we look in the software market, there's 34,000 people. There's th um, 38,000 people that said, I'm open to move. There are 64,000 vacancies. That means that there's one one candidate for two jobs. And if we look in high tech sales, it's 28,000, 2.6 um, are saying I'm open to move. There's 13,000 vacancies. That means that in the UK, in software, in, in, in high tech sales, there's currently one candidate for five jobs. Wow. Okay. That, that means that people can just say, I quit, I walk out. And I'm going to go somewhere else. And they'll probably just walk into a job. In America, similar sort of situ situation. There's 170 million people on LinkedIn. 15 million people are saying, I I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. 6.9 million vacancies. So it's a two to one ratio. In software, similar sort of figures. It's, it's one to three 
there's one um, person chasing three jobs. Similar sort of thing for software sales. Now, you could say, well, there's lots of jobs that aren't all advertised on LinkedIn. Yes, I know. Yep. Um, but just to emphasize the point, there's something going on right now where people are actually able to say, do you know, if you force me into the office, I don't want to go. I'm going to quit. And they can just walk out and go into the job. And equally, and opposite to that, if you're going to give me digital skills that make me more efficient and make my life easier in what I do and make me more visible and all of that, I'm going to stay here. Things yes. like that. All these things, you know, clearly that's a, an added benefit in a, an overall benefit. You're not going to you're not going to stay in a horrible place just because they gave you digital skills. It's part of a, an overall improvement, right? Yes. That's incredible. That is incredible when you see it laid out like that. Some good research from Robert there. Fan I mean, woo. But, but that, it, just, it's, it just emphasizes the point, which is that whatever you think about the, the, the great quit or the grand resignation or whatever you want to call it, Right now, at the moment, there are more jobs for people, and talent is really difficult to get hold of. The great resource shortage. It, it is the great resource shortage, yeah. This is kind of happening a lot faster than I expected, and it will only get exacerbated as um, the, the needs and abilities continue to be mismatched, right? So, you know, there's this great question. Well, how are there so many job openings and so many people looking for work? Like how, how come those jobs aren't being filled? And I think the easiest answer, and I don't have the specific data to tell you, is that the, the roles that people need fit, there are not people necessarily for the, the types of roles that need to be filled. And my wife is a is um, kind of an example of this. Um, you know, as these um, technology companies become more niche market, in, in other words, their their goal is to create a new market that has no competitors, right? So you can get something that's different, but it won't be exactly the same as this. It's just very different from a product type situation where you have one type of hammer it's slightly different design it's still a hammer like you know that's 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 pretty easy you know she had her job responsibilities because of the unique nature of the company that she works for there are not many people that have that same skill set because the company is so unique right so she's mm. got she's got these skill sets that um, are actually really in high demand, but you're not going to find a lot of people with those same skill sets because it's it's a very unique type of job. Um, and that's that's, kind of that's, that's, that's that's down to kind of um, Moore's law and the kind of singularity, and that, that we're kind of getting to this point where where stuff is in terms of. Um, uh, organizations that the the pace of that, that that stuff is developing at we just can't keep up in terms of um you know resources and training those people to do that stuff that just is it, and it's getting wider and wider and wider well actually that you're getting you actually touched on my point um which is or the point that i was working towards <laughs> I, didn't actually, I didn't actually make it but the point that i'm working towards is it's going to be harder and harder for companies to find people that have the exact skill set that they need. So what they need to do is look for people that have like, I want, I'll, for lack of a better way to say it, almost power skills, like the mm -hmm. skills that everybody needs to succeed in a, um, in the new f world, which I believe are like the soft skills, authenticity, empathy, communication, collaboration, digital skills, like the uh, skills that um, the folks at DLA and at night um, enable, right? Kind of getting people at kind of a base level, but it's going to be companies' responsibilities to upskill their workers. You're you're gonna you're gonna you're looking for people that have those power skills, which are actually in in short supply, <laughs> as we know. Yeah. Um, 
And you find those people, you get them in there, and then they're going to have to grow into the the role because there'll be there'll be just very few people out there that have kind of all of the things that recruiters and the automated software solutions. I wonder if you, uh, you can take that, off <laughs> that, that that process of, of where what you're doing is so niche and, and and the training is so niche that effectively that person can't leave because they're only trained in that in that particular skill set which only applies to your business. So they're kind of trapped essentially. <laughs> yeah. I did a I did an interview with a um on my podcast with a guy called James Barry. Um and um James um company um, they have a, an objective that everybody in the organization has a personal brand. They're not there yet, but they're looking to be in that situation because oh, it's man. important, he says, that if everybody has a personal brand, ultimately it's a bit like the, we always used to say everybody is in sales. Well, everybody is in sales, but now there's in the digital, we all need to be in sales in digital. Um, and he said in terms of the, the type of people that he was looking for, he was looking for people that were creative who were good at sharing, who were good at telling stories, um, had um, tenacity, which is always one that we want in um, uh, uh, in sales. People had empathy and they were curious. Beautiful. Uh, it, just, it, just, it, just, it just makes you think that we will be okay as a human race because there's people like that. We will be all right. Yes. Well, it's like it's, things have come full circle, haven't they? Like, yeah. Kind of in, in terms of yeah, that's just yes. Yeah. Being being human, having the ability to be social, it's the competitive differentiator. Like yeah. that is that is the thing that everyone <laughs> needs. Yeah. Don't you, don't you find it strange though, that the organisations are having to train their workforce in how to be more human? Like, surely that should be largely a part of responsibility of, of um, you know, your parents. We know how to be your... human. We don't necessarily know how to be good humans. <laughs> well, I, I honestly believe that that's a symptom of the fact that it's been beaten out of people. Yeah. It's been beaten out of people for decades. Yeah. You know, because because the law and the path and our voice is the brand and thou shalt Thou shalt abide by the brand principles and the yeah. brand message. So, it, so if it's all about the brand and it's all about our, you know, our company and our, our brochure wear and our, our, what? Why do I need an identity? I can just let it slide. I can just park yeah. it. I can leave it in the parking lot and just come into work and just be the brand. Be the brand. Be the brand. Be the, the, brand. Old, the old 1984 Apple commercials. Isn't it? <laughs> <Is that it? laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. But but you, it's so interesting that, you know, you, you bring up brand. And, and so what what we're getting, we that touches on, OK, what is changing about the nature of brand and what is successful out in the world today? Your brand has to be about more than your product. It has to con it has to connect with people on an emotional level. This is why having purpose in your organization becomes so important and having having your people in your organization actually living out your values, because living out your values is what's going to help them to connect with your customers and people who actually believe in what you're doing. Right. So at Accelery, for example, we say. Um, that we're accelerating digital transformation through your people. It's all about your people. And when I talk to people about people, they get excited. I say, hey, I'm all about people. Everything that we're doing is about enabling, empowering people. That's about actually connecting with them heart to heart. Okay, yeah, we, we're doing these products and we're doing these different things, but really what I'm saying to you is we want your people to be successful. And that that is something that people can get behind and get excited about. If, 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 if that's beautiful, because- I love it, I think it's fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous, right? Absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. If, but if, if the antithesis of that is, if the big brand culture is failing and all you've got in your toolbox is to put your big brand in the ring, your big Pillsbury Doughboy, you know, <laughs> flailing, kind of like like falling over on one side, and it's just trying to slug it out with the other ones that are doing the same. And some smart person over here with ten thousand employees, the same as same size as your company, sends ten thousand 
Sparta style warriors into the ring, 10,000 who've been enabled to just, you know, be completely different. I just, that whole, that really excites me, you know, and it's, it, that's why I love being in the space that we're in because you get exciting things happen every day. The fact that there's a company out there who are saying we want, <laughs> it just, sorry, I'm still giggly about it. It's really exciting that a CEO is saying everyone that comes into this company needs to have a strong personal brand or we'll, we'll help them get it kind of thing because that's important for us i mean that's like that's like stand up stand up it's, and yeah, it's so amazing. empowering I, I, I just imagine i imagine a line of people kind of queued, queued up at the ceo's office and it's like what, what you, what's your what's your superpower flight okay bosh and the next one's on your, <laughs> you're putting the capes on they're heading up the... <laughs> <laughs> oh brilliant yes yes absolutely um they, or, they, they or, log in in the morning uh nick and it says uh ready uh, uh player one or whatever it is it really <laughs> one. a duke it a duke it um, and, uh, or, or across town there's um so you've got you sorry you've only got 10 years experience in sales we're looking for 15. <laughs> <laughs> So you've actually got a story, haven't you, Eric, of um, someone this week who got some success on social. Oh, which one? Which one do um, you need to write? Which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, one? I think it's I think it's actually um, uh, Nick's client. It might be. It might where be. Um, they put a post and they've got um, and 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 they put out a post which was them uh, in a tuxedo with his wife. We're going to go out. We're going to a party. We don't know what it's going to be like. Um, and someone saw that and they got into a conversation on social. And and the person said, so uh, of the, the salesperson, so what do you do? Well, we do this. <laughs> and he said, do you know, we're actually we're in the market for that at the moment. Can you put in a proposal? So so we put in a proposal for 100 k um, pounds, which is what, 1.3, uh, 100,000, 130,000 um, dollars, US, yeah. US, yeah. And um, what 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 Eric and I were laughing about this morning was that there's two salespeople out there because this, this there was they want it, they want the third one. There's two salespeople out there right now who don't know what's happening to them. It's a classic example of gonna, they're going to be outsold by digital, yeah. and they're, they're sitting there and, and they're saying to it's them, in the bag, it's in the bag. Yeah, yeah, and the, and, the, and the sales manager is saying, "So, uh, uh, what's uh, what what are you uh, what are you forecasting for the, uh, this month?" So, well, we've got um, uh, um, two pack of widgets, and um, yeah, we put in a proposal for hundred thousand. Okay, so that's gonna that's gonna close, is it? And then what's gonna happen yeah. is ninety percent, ninety percent, it's in the green zone. All of a sudden, someone from digital is just going to appear, as they did. <laughs> I just landed with, with, the with, a, like with a with a non brand <laughs> post. Uh, did and, somebody and call me. This, where did that come from? Well, they they obviously they, they dropped the pants. It, they it, they won. Yeah, they, they yeah. They, so we're not getting involved in a race to the bottom. Yeah, Tom. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know. They they uh, yeah they clearly you know they'll fail they'll fail because they've clearly uh, clearly uh, dropped the pants on the price and yeah we're better off out of that one eh. Better off out of that one. Take that one out of the CRM as uh, we we didn't want it anyway. It wasn't a good fit. Yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, yeah. It's uh and 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 the the scary thing about it. Um, and this is where again I'm I, I my real concern is not so much for the organization but the people who work for the organization. Okay, because. I mean, their real lives on, you know, jobs, people have jobs, families to feed and, and their leadership is leading them, you know, in the wrong direction. And in digital, that is, that is catastrophic. Um, the um, dis companies <laughs> disappear literally all the time. And it's because a more nimble, uh, organization that has embraced digital, that has fewer people, but those people are extremely effective because of the exponential impact of social media. Um, it's just that's that's where I, I'm like extremely like extremely that's, concerned that's, that's and desperately trying to reach out to um, and get these executives um, 
to to kind of get get with the program here. I mean, because there, you know, there's real people, real people in jobs that that, you know, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's frightening. Concerning. It's frightening how 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 much wider that gulf is getting between sort of traditional sales and, and marketing, and and so many people still haven't noticed. It's getting wider and wider and wider, and they and they haven't noticed. And it's um that's what excites me so much about social is that it's the it's the kind of great leveler is that you can you can eclipse and decimate a company that has you know millions or billions in turnover if you if you if you mobilize your uh, your labor force and, and they're and spending hundreds of thousands on advertising of dollars and, and, yeah on yeah. marketing literally flushing it down the toilet <laughs> it's insane I mean, you know it's like the resources that are going out you know it's just it's, it's deeply concerning. unfortunately i'm under nda but for a number of things but i know a number of people that are doing that are wasting so much money so much money well i just i just i just um i think we're at the point now where we need to be well i okay i'm at the point i'm at the point now where i think this is so crucial that we get over all the yeah you know we we, we, we get over all this kind of like um you know i'm gonna i'm just gonna say it right so for whatever reason usually usually we get to the point in a conversation where there's a bunch of people excited in the organization but because of because of history because of ego because of preciousness defensiveness or whatever usually um marketing people end up in front of us and start to put up little because they they feel a little bit threatened by it we usually win them over once we get into it um but right at the start we get the little porcupine spines coming out and uh, and I think we're at the point now where we need to be need to be super straight about this now because I've seen it I've seen companies now and I'm talking to companies who who are worried about um, payroll Q1 payroll if they don't sort stuff out they're worried about they're worried about you know we're going into Christmas and we don't have visibility on projects after March nothing. You know, in previous years, in 18 and 19, we could see into, you know, well past summertime by now, if not towards next Christmas. And we're struggling to see anything past, you know, middle of Q1. So there's, 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 there's pussyfooting around and there's being sort of soft and timid about it and being sort of others oh, being, you know, come on, come on. This is, this is really important. This is about, this is about, in many cases, survival and in many cases, thriving. And in many cases, um, putting right what needs to be put right. So, I think it's I think it's time we got over the sort of pussyfooting around, cut to the chase, and instead of going into these these meetings that we have where where we have we do them all the time. How many how many how many times did we meet with the management teams as a group as a global group? It's it's 20, 30, 40, 50 times a week, right? We're meeting with people in all sectors, all territories, and uh, that meeting's going to go either one of two ways. It's going to go. Uh, a really excited management team that are keen to give their team the digital skills and get a grip on all this and get moving and start to get that pipeline going and all of that. Or a bunch of people who, for one reason or another, whether it's fear, whether it's just ego or whatever, want to fight with you about why. So they've invited you in to talk about modernizing their approach to demand gen. But now once we're in the room, we're going to have a fight about the fact that well, this this won't work in our industry. So why am I here? Why am I in front of it? Why am why, I? Some... Why, why did you get me here? Why did you get me here? I'm a, I'm a I'm a consultant who, and you've given me two hours of your time, from your for, of your C-suite, of your board, to come in and talk to you about all of this. And now you're going to tell me why it doesn't work in your industry. But sounds, you've also sounds. told me at the start. You've also told me at the start that your pipeline's in trouble, and uh, you're having trouble getting to the table in time. You're missing out on opportunities. And we're we're showing you how other people are doing it in your industry, um, and, and they're as, ahead as of we you. know already, um, one person has has uh, missed an opportunity because they got outsold by digital. Outsold by digital, yeah, absolutely. So, um, so I, I I think it's time. So there used to be a time where I used to be super sensitive around all of that. Now I'm being. It's not that I'm being crass or anything, but I'm just cutting to the chase. You either yeah. want you either want to be successful and at the top of your game because I. I don't know. I don't know about you. I never wanted to work for the fifth best in my industry. No, I never. And and when I was in whatever organization I was in, I never wanted to be the fourth best, fourth most, uh, uh, you know, best uh, best department. And when I was in a team of people, I never wanted to be the fifteenth best. 
surely you want to, if you're going to give a go at this, life is short, right? Life is short. You want to, you want to hit the top tier, don't you? You want to hit the top. I don't want to be an also run. I don't know anyone in business that wants to be an also run. We're quite happy being 10th. <laughs> yes. Dedication is what you need. <laughs> we're quite happy being t- we're quite happy being in the lower quartile of performance. That's that's our business plan. Lower quartile is yeah, safe. We're quite we're quite comfortable in that space. <laughs> we're quite comfortable in lower quartile. It's good. It's good. There's no, there's no growth. We don't have to worry about growth. We don't have to worry about mega projects. There's you know, no competition. Just, there's no competition. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants that, right? <laughs> unless it's a little unless it's a little lifestyle business. Uh, that's just to keep people who are retired and won the lottery occupied. We're in here to win. We're here to win, right? So why would you not want? <laughs> why would you not want all of the tools and the skills and the armor and the kit and all that that's going to enable you to win every time? I just don't get it. I don't get it. You would. Sorry. I don't get you, it. You, you would. You would. And 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 all the way through our lives, we've seen the way that technology has changed. Mm-hmm. And we've seen, you know, we don't sit and use, um, uh, you know, um, Lotus One Two Three and Ami Pro anymore. No, I mean, there'll be people watching this who won't even know what it is, mm-hmm. because Lotus. because because, <laughs> because things have evolved. We don't use fax machines anymore. I mean, there will be some. Whenever I say that, there's all um, it's, there's always yeah. someone in the chat yeah. says we still use them to send out. Um, Something in in some industry. Yep. I, put, I, I put I put a note on Nick's um, post the other day, or his next uh, newsletter the other day about um, I've I've been paging you for for four weeks and sending you fifty emails. <laughs> and someone came around. Actually, you'll find that in some uh, areas of the world, the fax is actually used quite a lot. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I actually had a pages. Com- I had a conversation with the guy on LinkedIn the other day, and basically I made a statement like, oh, talent is going to decide who wins the the hybrid or going back to the office. And he said, actually, there are quite a lot of people out there that are happy to come in and get a stable job. I was like, yeah, but do you want those people? <laughs> why, does it, why, does it, why does it talk like that? <laughs> He's from Wales. Let's go sell some carpet. <laughs> Let's go sell some carpet. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, um, can I? Can I? Uh, are you? Are you fit for a bit of a tangent to the left? Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. What? What have you got for us, Eric? Yeah, I just, I just wanted to. Uh, this, this might. This I might can't. Be, uh, I can't go anywhere without hearing TikTok. Oh, beat me! Beat me to it! Beat me to come it! Come on! Come yeah, on! Tell us TikTok, about it. TikTok! 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 So, um, TikTok growth. Absolutely mystifying. So I've been doing a bit of a deep dive on TikTok recently. Someone got something playing. Oh. Someone watching the ball game in the background. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Oh, it's a bit of a yeah. So um, yeah, I I I've, I'll put my hand up. I absolutely love TikTok. I hated it when it first came out because for some reason it wanted to throw up all sorts of really really uh, weird videos towards me as a as a 50 year old man so i managed to get rid of them and i realized that one of the things that you had to do really quickly with tech what with tiktok was to train the algorithm you know flick on reject and and home in and follow the things that you'd really like and it will absolutely it will train it's a very easy yes. uh, easy to train algorithm yep so once uh, once you get your stuff in there so i uh, i think it's probably apart from uh, the social media channels that we work in it's probably the most used social media channel in my family. Um, it, it's it's every day I'll get I'll get sent TikToks from friends, interesting stuff, funny stuff, educational stuff. I've bought things from from a TikTok. You bought things. From you TikTok. bought one hundred percent, hundred percent. I've uh, I've I've been influenced enough to to see something be demonstrated. Was it a generator? No. <laughs> No, it wasn't a generator. No, it wasn't. But I've bought multiple things from TikTok reviews where people have said, these things are supposed to be good. Let's do a little review. And they've unboxed it. And I've, I've been in the market for one of those things. And I've just said, well, I'm not going to look any further. I'm just going to go and buy that. Solar panels. It's not solar panels either, no. Uh, just just if story. you're watching this, just so you know that um, uh, Eric um, lives in a part of Scotland, in Aberdeenshire, yeah. where there was a storm. Storm Irwin came in. And yeah. knocked out his power for was it you were out you were you had no electricity no telephone no internet 
there wasn't even any mobile cell at uh, cellular um for what four days was it four days yeah four wow days. So, and people still, people still people still out people still out there's Scotland, still people yeah they've got the army nope. in um in scotland absolutely wow. um, keep, keep them up there um so so yeah 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 that's that's what uh tim's having a bit of a, a light-hearted joke about are you looking at bio generators <laughs> actually yes yes i was um it's fascinating when you start looking at uh solar power generators but anyway so tiktok a few stats would you like some stats yes 2020 was a huge year for tiktok it's the most downloaded app in 2020 on ios and uh and, and android it overtook the tech giant in terms of downloads uh facebook um uh, uh in 20 and uh, and in 2021 it's at uh, 1.2 billion active users in 2021 and it remains unique very unique 70 percent of the members are gen z under 24 yeah right wow um but that's changing that's changing in the uk alone the regulator ofcom reported an increase from 5.5.4 uh, million users in june to a whopping 12.9 in april from june so, to so april what? Yeah, I saw the um, I saw the Simon Simon Kemp, the guy that does the um, oh yeah, social yeah, yeah. media things. I know you watched it live. Mm -hmm. I watched it as a recording, and he made a comment about TikTok, which is that a lot of the people that have joined TikTok over the last twelve months are actually he doesn't know whether they are, but they tend to be older people, and he suspects it's the mums and the and the and the and the grannies and the grandpas either watching what their children are doing or right. that, that you know uh, the grandchildren said you need to this is it's on tiktok grandma right um, and so okay. what, what we're seeing is this is we're seeing this new generation of people who are the older people joining tiktok Incredible. that's very dangerous for um meta well, it is. Well, it actually, well, it's the, it's usually the thing that actually, if you talk to any young people about, are you on Facebook now? Why is that? Oh, my mum's there. That's right. That's, that's right. So it, it, it was actually that that killed, killed, it's got three billion people. Well, um, but they do. Some social platforms age up, don't they, over yes, time? Yes, they so. do, yeah. yeah. So that's oh, one of the things oh, that ha is, that's happened with TikTok. It's, but it's the other thing about TikTok is that there's been short video sharing platforms before. Yeah, because what what was the one that t Twitter uh, bought? Uh, uh, Vine. Vine, and then they closed it down because yeah. nobody oh, yeah, used it. Vine, yeah. Which yeah. is a nightmare um, because we had lots of family funny vines on there, and we forgot to download them, and we lost them all. Oh. And um, and then all of a sudden TikTok comes along, and, and it just blows up. Absolutely, absolutely massive. Um, what is that? Fifty-five percent of U.S. consumers have bought products from seeing them on TikTok. 55% of US consumers think about that. Um, uh, the rise of social commerce is absolutely enormous. Um, TikTok have made 500 million in the year 2000, 500 million dollars from uh, revenue from ads. Um, the growth at home activities because of lockdown, TikTok became a home thing. So fitness channels started, live fitness channels and all of that. Um, the fact that... Uh, um, uh, that's becoming a Gen Z space for serious issues. So no longer is that an app just for kids. Uh, TikTok matured this year. It started partnering with the World Health Organization to combat fake news. Uh, government organizations are putting safety mm -hmm. stuff onto and learning stuff onto TikTok. Um, oh, you see you'll things love that. like absolutely. Um, you love a good Black safety Life, video, don't you? Love a good safety video. Yeah. Black <laughs> lives, Black Lives Matter. U.S. general election. Uh, a hub for political activism. Made it, they made a ma big, massive deal about Black History Month. They did lots and lots of stuff about mental health and self-care. It's becoming a place that young people go to get advice for mental health and self-care. So governments are tuning into this. Health agencies are tuning into this. And there's a whole serious wave. So no longer is it just people going, doing the dance to do, 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 the weekend dance. This do is what? becoming a what the weekend I... dance. The sure. weekend dance. I think... I think um... Something that you mentioned there, you kind of went over it quickly. I think you're kind of talking about it now, but it's actually really important. Um, and it could lead to the serious, it could lead seriously to the decline of Facebook, which is, it sounded like what you were saying is that TikTok is making it a point to combat misinformation and disinformation. It is, yes. Which, if you are concerned about, says, I'm leaving this other. Um, 
platform that won't do anything about it. And I'm going to this platform that will. I mean, that's a, that is the type of thing that can start a negative network Roll. effect situation. Snowball. Yeah, totally. And, yeah, and what, what is happening, maybe even more so over lockdown, where people are getting smarter with social? No longer is it just, I'm just on Facebook because my friends are there. People are actually deciding where I'm going to be, where I'm going to live. I'm going to live more here because it's a nicer environment. It's a cooler environment. I learn more here or I feel safer here. Or I'm going to go here because I can be more controversial. I can be more antagonistic. People have been able to now select where they want to be. And I just like the fact that so TikTok, um, TikTok's becoming this place now, which is they're even talking about becoming, um, they're talking about TikTok TV starting. Wow. Um, which is going to, which is going to combat and not combat, go up against Amazon Prime and Netflix. And, Interesting. And Apple. So TikTok TV, watch out for that one coming. So TikTok are sitting around the Remember boardroom. Remember where going, you heard it first. TikTok TV. <laughs> TikTok yeah. TV, it's like, what are you watching on? Are you watching that brilliant series it's on? Where's, where is it? On Apple? Is it on uh, Netflix? No, it's on TikTok. <gasps> and it's, you know, it's so, um, it's such a great point that you make, Eric, because, you know, when we think about these phones, and this is, this is actually, um, the reason that I'm saying this is because it's true of many, many things, right? The competition is just a swipe away. Oh, man. The competition is you're dropping, you're dropping one liner. <laughs> Mike drops nice. today. The competition is just a swipe you know, away. You know, it's like, I, and I love, I, I love the way that you've actually got, and it's, it's just a swipe, swipe, swipe away. away. <laughs> I do it every day. Every day I go, I'll, I, because I have a habit, I'll go to Instagram, but then I'll be like, oh, TikTok. And then I just leave Instagram and I just go to TikTok. Yeah. And what happens when you go to TikTok? You just keep I hang going out. and going and you go and you go and you go and you hang out. Yeah, exactly. You're there. Absolutely. And so when you start Ross Boss, your competitor to TikTok, <laughs> that could be your little thing. Your competition, <laughs> just a swipe, yes, swipe, swipe away. away. <laughs> um, so it's, but it's, it's true. It's, I mean, I, 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 only, I, I did it and I said it because I wanted to make that point. That's not just true for TikTok, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, it's any organization, any any business. Right, your competition is just a couple of clicks away. Come on, folks, got to get. But I think it's I think it's uh, it's time, and and we we did start taking it seriously this year. Um, a group of us here um, by cycling a lot of our video content through there. But I think certainly on my agenda for the new year is to, I think it's very easy to open TikTok and go, oh, this is just for kids. This is just for Gen Zs. Mm, that's a that's a huge huge error. I think this is uh, this is one to to really get a grip of properly and strategically, um, and something I'm certainly going to be looking at personally and how how to become good at TikTok. And I'm 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 okay at it. We're putting some stuff through there. I'm I'm I'm, I'm active and all of that, but nowhere near where we should be. And a lot oh, of the yeah. a lot of the subjects that we're interested in, digital transformation, RevOps metaverse and all of that are huge topics social social selling social media they're massive topics that they're massive hashtags on uh, on the platform and uh and it's terrific so i i really enjoy it i think it's one of the best things mm -hmm. about social media is tiktok and i think i'm really excited to see where it's going to go um and also excited to see how we can incorporate this into not only our own uh universe but also our clients universe moving forward yeah awesome i, I agree it's it's something that we've got to tackle it's, it's too easy to put TikTok in the hard, you know, let's get the, a hard box and put it in there and that, but yeah. it's, it's too easy. Yeah, we, we've got to do right? something with it. It's, uh, it's a monster and you can't ignore monsters. It's, no. It's, no. It's, yeah. It's like a millennium falcon. <laughs> although, although, although it's um, it's it's amazing for those of us that are used to living in within the safe confines or relatively safe confines of LinkedIn, when you do venture out, and we're very big on other platforms, when you do, when you do venture out, of like go north of the wall <laughs> there. Yeah. when you go north of the wall you expose yourself to a different level of uh of scrutiny perhaps and i've had some yes. amazing amazingly helpful feedback on my videos on tiktok <laughs> very frank you, you know nothing john snow <laughs> you know nothing, john snow yeah exactly um right okay okay thanks john from glasgow you've made your, your point very very clear about your disdain for my uh, my video content, uh, point taken. Thank I've, you. I've, I've I've flirted with the platform so far, and I've kind of I've picked up a few things. I think I've only put about six pieces of content up there, but yeah, I'm def definitely going to make it um, 
a large part of my uh, strategy going forward next year and sort of looking at ways of potentially kind of repurposing content or creating content in such a way where I can easily repurpose that content between um, LinkedIn and TikTok as well. So, yeah. yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. But I think, I think, um, yeah, I think that's right. But I, I'm, I'm of the opinion now, all I've been doing is recycling other content onto TikTok. I think it's yeah. time to have a proper bespoke and unique strategy and content mind for, for TikTok. Yes. Um, yeah. So you can expect to see Tim doing those, my age, my job, <laughs> <laughs> all that, my favorite it's, cook. It's, it's, it's those ones that I see that are repurposed from TikTok where people have used the same filters or the, or the same, it's the same trend. And it's like, I'm just seeing the same stuff in my, my timeline on LinkedIn. It's like, right. some of it's good and some of it's just, it's just lazy video content. So what's your thoughts on that? Uh, Claire, Claire Carroll dealt with it uh, direct. I love Claire Carroll. Uh, Claire doesn't mess yes. about. I'd never, I'd never like to fall out with Claire because... No, you know, no, no, no. We, we love Claire. We love Claire. We love Claire. If you're watching this, Claire, we never want to follow up with you. Um, so uh, and we Claire, you. Claire hits subjects head on. Like she's hit one today about uh, about uh, LinkedIn identity and uh, from a poll. And she's been, you know, here it is. It's facts. It's it's that level of like, come on, this is serious. Get get a wake up call here. So she she put a thing out back in the day. Claire was one of the first people that I saw that put her TikTok videos on LinkedIn, and. Uh, and she got a lot of kind of like, you know, keep this for TikTok. It's not for here. It's not for that. You're not you're not supposed to be mixed. So she she wrote a beautiful post a couple of weeks ago saying, why is there all the hate for TikTok videos? Yeah. Number one, they take a lot of time to make. Number two, they're usually insightful. I'm not posting stuff on here, which is just, you know, here's me having a sandwich. It's not that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's proper stuff. It took me a long time to make. It's educational and blah, blah, blah. And... You know, people multi-purpose content across other platforms. So why, when some of us put TikTok material on here, do we get abuse? What's your own views on that? I, I actually don't know where uh, I stand. No, I, I'm, I'm absolutely fine with repurposing the content. Um, as long as it's, uh, I like original content. What I'm referring yeah. to specifically is, is streams of spam content that all looks the same because it's all used the same TikTok filters. It's all used the same track. So you're getting, I'm right. getting in my feed just regurgitated stuff from different people that all looks the same. It's like, cool. There was a, there was a video that went that. around. <laughs> there was a video that went around of this um, person eating the banana that where they went, Duh, and then they, and, and it was like, and then everyone just copied it. And then people, oh, it was, yeah. uh, it was the, um, the, the, the big dragon bone man. <laughs> and, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, um, um, and, you know, so, so the first time you see it, oh yeah, that's funny. Yeah. And the second time you think then it starts to great. Then you want to then you want to gouge your eyeballs out. <laughs> well, I, do, I do I do feel that if you've created something unique, you should be able to share it wherever you want. But if you're just absolutely yeah. if you if you're yeah. copying the guy that ate the banana to the Brag and Bone Man track that had that unique it's like it's like Tim Tim it's writing a, a copy blog. of a copy of a copy. I just cop and you just copying it yeah. and sticking it out yeah. on the same platform. It's a bit weird, yeah. isn't it? It's just like what what is this thing? Like, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit strange. So, so here's my challenge to this group: we all have TikTok accounts, right? Yep. Let's do, 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 do. Let's yeah. do a TikTok live. Ooh. It's very easy to do. Yeah, very easy. To do. You don't need, you don't need, to, yeah. you don't need to apply for licenses. The four of us just get on, or five of us just get on, and we do a little TikTok totally live. Down with live I'm, I'm, I'm up TikTok. for that. Yeah. Let's do it, right? Let's work out what needs to be done. I think it's as simple as just, you know, go live, and and do it. I don't think you have to apply, but let's let's do some uh, let's do some work. Totally in there. down with that. Yeah, totally down with I, that. I'd love to do an Amazon live and sort of do and have. Uh, and today we've got these uh, earpods, so they're really good if you just put them in and yeah and 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 they're only um, at five ninety nine if you just put in that. Don't you fancy doing that? Tim, Tim, you need to stop talking. I'm, 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 I'm currently. I can purchase it. You need to stop talking. I'm currently in the checkout. <laughs> <laughs> what well, do that? Do that? An Amazon, an Amazon thing. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Be, I think. I think. Do you, do you know? I actually, what I've seen them, and I bet they're really hard work because you are constantly. Um, talking and doing stuff and i just think it would be really fun because i just think you know it's one of those things like maybe i've just become a um in my old age i've become a come out of my comfort zone junkie you know right um yes. and um and certainly in social you know 
I and we're going back to the beginning of what, what you know. But the, you know, I remember. Yeah, I rem, I rem, I remember. Right, getting my first. Know, all of this was Fields. It is all, all of this Fields. Was... I got my first laptop. It was a three eight six. Right, three eight six laptop. Twenty five percent. Have a tear. Have a tear. 25 percent it was, it was funny because they they forgot to buy they they forgot to buy them with ethernet connectors so they had to get like some sort of thing to go on anyway um 25 percent of the sales force said why would i do that we have a sales administrator yeah if i, I i'm a salesperson i don't do typing hello they didn't say that in those days because the that tv program wasn't around but um <laughs> Um, it was like, and and then they left because they were going to do their own typing. Now, you talk to anybody, a millennial, my partner's 26. If you said, you know, he grew up at school doing his own typing. It was, it was, it's what you learn at school now. Yeah. And and one of, the, and, and I remember sitting there thinking um, in my young, I had, I probably had hair in those days and I was probably sitting there thinking, I cannot be in a position ever in my life where I don't understand the technology. The technology is obviously going to come in waves and I've got to be in a position where I understand what's going on. I only downloaded the Uber app and ordered a taxi on Uber just so I could understand what it was about. And then when I did it, it was like, bloody hell, this, I just don't have to stand in queues anymore. That's that's funny. I've 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 it's it's a uh, once you've made that decision that you're not going to be the sorry son, what does it do? What's it for? <laughs> I mean, my 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 my, uh, my sister-in-law still holds the record, in my view, for the best statement ever made about tech, right? Now think about this: Susie, by her own admission, is a technophobe, right? Still to this day, Susie, back in the day when I got the latest BlackBerry from my company, hmm. right? Susie, and now think about this: it's it's a giggle, right? But think about the level of how far away she is with this. She said, "What's that you've got?" And I said, "It's it's a new BlackBerry," and I showed her it, and she went, "Is that better than a Bluetooth?" <laughs> now just think about that think about how deep that <laughs> lack of understanding is there is that better than a oh, oh, bluetooth a oh, bluetooth right so but i always said i always want to be the i always want to be the i don't want to be the guy who's like i, I don't know what it is it's these youngsters you know they're there so i've got that innate kind of but it's hard work right keeping up mm. with mm. all of that and i think uh like i've been a gamer next a gamer I've been a gamer my whole life. I still, I'm 51 years old in January and I'm still an Xboxer and a PC gamer. Oh, it's um, the 1st of January, isn't it? Your birthday. Yeah, yeah, 51. I'm not 51. pleased. I'm not pleased. But I think, I think part of that is the fact that I don't want to, I don't want to give it up just because, well, you're an old, you're an older guy now. You shouldn't be gaming. Keeps because, you young. Keeps you yeah, young. absolutely. Keeps you it's your reflexes. I said, to, <laughs> I, said to, I said to Nick the other day, these aren't, these aren't games anymore. These are like interactive virtual reality immersive experiences and that probably sounds like an old guy justifying why he's still a gamer why are you going around <laughs> shooting people <laughs> yeah, no. is that you have to shoot your little man again oh thanks Sarah. your your story <laughs> reminds me of um i was once on the train this was pre-covid i was on the uh commuter rail from new york to uh um uh where i live and um I was trying to, I was typing something and there was a younger person typing that, like blazing fast fingers. Like, so, I was like, looking out the window. It, it was so fast that I, I actually felt shame about how slow I was typing. I, I, I turned my body because I was typing. Oh, phone away. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> My body. Because it was so, I was so, I, it made me look so old. I was moving so slowly. And it was just... let, me, let me put the top back on his flask and went, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it was, oh, uh, anyway, it was a very funny moment. But it was like, it was like a, in, a, in an instant, I had to confront my age and how out of it I was with the, uh, with the, texting well, i think that that, that goes that. with them um, just yeah just being uh being inquisitive and sort of um being sort of young at heart and, and young of mind i think if you're, you're i i think if you get to that point where you're like i i'm not interested in in where the world's going or, or how things are moving along you curl up your toes and die pretty much so. it's jurassic, jurassic park time isn't it 
yeah, it's like why, why, why bother being here if you're not gonna, you know, explore what's around you? I, I want to be, I want to be, where the kids are told by their parents when they're trying to figure something technical out, go and ask your grandpa. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be freaking awesome, wouldn't it? He's yeah. the one that sorts all that Come stuff. Here, out Sonny. In this house. Come here, Sonny. Come here, Yeah, what are you trying to That's do? That's great. But the interesting thing <laughs> is that. When I got serious about social, when I say got serious, I mean when I when Tim like started to teach me about social and what it means to be social, and I started really doing it. I actually think that that um, I don't know. It, it made me feel more youthful. I certainly meet more people. I have more interesting interesting conversations. Um, my business um, has accelerated because of social. So you know. I mean, I'm kind of bringing it full circle, but um, social keeps you young. <laughs> Man, you're just dropping them all. I'm, 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 I'm all up for. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm all up for doing a TikTok um, restream or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're excited about that. Yeah, let's, I am. Let's yeah. Do it. So I'm, what, I'm I saw someone recently uh... do one on Instagram. Say again. I saw someone do one on Instagram because I was looking because I I currently use Streamyard currently. <laughs> I won't be after after today, um, but um, um, I just noticed that it wasn't one of the, the 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 things that I could pick in terms of because you know when you set up your restream or streamyard, you have to pick the places that you're going to to stream. So you've got LinkedIn, yeah. you've got Twitch, you've got Twitter. That but but Instagram wasn't an option. So I'm gonna I want to do that. I'm I'm very surprised to be honest that um, LinkedIn because they've now announced. Um, everyone's got access to, to live streaming, that they haven't bought one of the larger streaming, just gone, yep, we'll have that, like just bought StreamYard. Or, or you would have thought so, wouldn't you? And integrated it into the platform because it needs it needs dedicated, um, a, a dedicated live streaming um, part of the platform. It, it just, yeah, it's because it's pretty broken at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little yeah. bit, isn't it? It's a bit clunky. It, there's clearly a lot you, of stuff you, on You'd the think with, like, a, a large rollout of, of that nature of, like, you know, we're going to give live access to pretty much everyone now. It's been in beta for a few years, that there's going to be something under the hood to, to go, it's, okay, well, here's, here's a new part of the interface. Beta? I, beta? 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 Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Potatoes, potatoes. I'll just chuck in, <laughs> I'll just chuck in beta just for the sake of it. Beta. Beta. <laughs> Beta. That's, beta. that's maybe the, the, the American... Uh, yeah, so, the American. Considering it's... Cause, considering cause it's Len broken, here, that's why. Considering it's broken, in the top left-hand corner, it's the first time I've done a digital done it. I've actually got a one as if there was one person watching. Okay. That's weird. That's, that is yeah, weird. It is, it is weird. weird. But yeah, well, well, they haven't integrated it um, directly into the into the platform. And um, another thing uh, that I think they definitely need to, that they missed a trick uh, with, with COVID, and I've mentioned this before, is um, is some kind of... Uh, virtual event space i mean it makes complete sense that you've got you know you've got a platform that that's um populated by by uh, large businesses that all probably do a lot of um events why not just keep it on the platform and, and stop them going yes oh my goodness what do i know i don't work for linkedin that's so. that's so <laughs> insightful nick i it's awesome it, can i just add I want to just shout out to the Cree industry. Not I, they're probably not watching, but I I engage with those folks a lot. This is one of those things where the they're like behind the times because a lot of these large organizations they had media space, media capabilities in the organization. Like that's a new use for all this office space that's not going to be. Used. Yeah, 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 like that's a great space. Like having like a media place that people can rent out for yeah. relatively short periods of time like that's a great use a lot of money there this media thing is real yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've, I've been saying it for years and that, that you know um companies aren't what they do anymore they're they're media production companies first and foremost and then they're they're what they do after secondary because they should be producing content at scale so um i need stash that, guys because I, I think, uh, I think we all do. From, from it's store. a shame we d we didn't go live on uh, on our on your on your main chosen platform for this because it was a little cracker. I thought a yeah, little beauty. Good. I'll <laughs> I'll good. I'll download it and stick it on um and stick it on LinkedIn. You'll have to you have to do what I did and and um there should be a stream sharing link afterwards. You can copy and paste that into the event. You can't you won't be able to upload the video because it's an hour long. So that, and there's a fifteen minute limit on LinkedIn. 
unfortunately, something else they need to address. <laughs> right. Jolly good. I've really enjoyed it, chaps. <laughs> Thanks, Thank everybody. You. Have, Have a good weekend, good. guys. Harry. See, See you in 2022. 2022. Live. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.